Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some things to talk about today because of an SBC that was finally released in its full form, and that is the uh, Ben Yetter SBC. And I need to point out some things that I said yesterday uh, that uh, this card definitely hurts as investments. Yesterday I shouted the uh, headliner twos, and uh, that was uh, not a good investment actually, because right, literally, this this was impeccable timing. I bought the cards, I released the video, and then like right at that time, the Ben Yedder SBC came out, and this card right here dropped a bunch of those headliners. Because obviously, if people are doing this SBC, number one, they're selling those headliners. Maybe that they were trying to go get this card. There's less demand for people to go try the headliners as there's nothing else to do because this SBC is something that they want to do. And of course, they're completing five SBCs, which all have decent packs in them. So that's more supply for these headliner cards on the market. So that's what happened yesterday with these cards. And that's why the headliners this morning when I woke up were crazy, crazy freaking low. And you know what? To be honest, I took some massive L's this morning too, and that's just, it's just part of the game sometimes. I made a call yesterday that was, um, I should have remembered that this Ben Yedder SBC was coming out, and then it was going to impact the market. I should have thought through that more, but uh, I did not know that it was going to be released in the nighttime there. If this SBC would not have been released, uh, if the Ben Yedder SBC was, was it, if it was not released last night when it was, if they would have waited to release it until today, midday, content drop kind of time, 6 p.m. UK on Saturday, then we would have been fine. Those cards would have done great. So the logic behind the investment for these cards last night was great. I know some of you guys went in with me, uh, but we just had the Ben Yedder SBC that kind of messed all those things up. So if you lost coins today, I understand why. I'm right there with you. We're going to earn it back. We're going to make it back. And that is going to happen over the next couple of days. So today in FIFA, we did get a couple other things along with that Ben Yedder being fully re-released. We get a headliners challenge for a rare Electrum players pack, which funnily en or funny enough is the same pack that we got for the 86 rated squad for Ben Yedder that they, they took away. So it was a rare Electrum pack, I believe. So they kind of gave that back to us again today. Like, hey, here's another rare Electrum or whatever. Um, and then we also got flashback Mateo Vabuena. And I was throwing a little bit of sarcasm out there when I tweeted out this SBC today. Um, as a good value SBC, which, you know, if this is a card, let's just look at it on foot. If this is a card that uh, interests you at all, uh, that's fine. If you're like a Mateu Valbuena uh, fan from back in the day when he was more in his prime, or for whatever reason, if this is a card that interests you, then that's not a problem because this is a 50,000 coin card via SBC, 83 rated squad with uh, two informs is basically all that it requires, which is nice. It is a cheap SBC and we like these. And to some extent, this is kind of a cool SBC. You know, he's gonna be hard to link. He's a center attacking mid that is French. Yes, but he's in the Greek league. So green links are gonna be hard to find. But if you have somebody like a Blanc, you know, maybe this is a card that you do just to have that card in the club, just because it's cheap and it's easy and it's cool. Uh, but this is another way where EA kind of gets us, right? Uh, EA kind of gets us by, we're doing these 30K dink and dunk SBCs and we're getting the cards and they're, trading in tradable coins, we're putting tradable players in, buying players to put in the SBC, and we're getting an untradable item back, and that's how coins get drained off this game. And EA has been so hard, you got, you guys know, you guys know, EA has been trying so hard these last few weeks with this headliner promo, last two weeks, they've been trying their hardest to drain as many coins as they can post team of the year, and then again through this headliner promo. That's why we've gotten SBCs every single day. We've basically gotten an SBC every single day, like a player SBC or a player of the month SBC. We've gotten so many of these. Of course, player of the months are repeating every month, but the player SBCs that we have gotten uh, and even like the, the ones that don't expire are perfectly placed and timed uh, for EA to drain coins off of this game. Uh, and you can just tell with the, how the high rated golds are uh, right now as well people are they have coins and they're doing these SBCs so again we're going to see coins continually taken off the market with these SBCs but a lot of these SBCs do require at least the headliner ones or they expire not require a lot of these SBCs expire on Tuesday when these headliner cards go out of packs um, the dab of the Wii's only has two days remaining so that's going to be going away at the end and it feels like at the end of this promo like on Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK they're literally just cutting everything off. I'm just now seeing some of this, like 
the Mateu Vabuena is going to be gone. All the headliner SBCs are going to be gone. I think the Deli Alley expires then. The upgrade SBC expires then. David Luiz expires then. So like all the outstanding SBCs except for Player of the Month are literally going to be cut off this week. I think Tammy and Deli Alley actually um, expire in two days as well. Let me check really quick on Footbin to make sure that that is the case. Tammy expires. Yes, he expires then. And so does Deli Alley. So all of these SBCs expire on Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK or earlier. And that really makes me think that we're getting another promo this weekend. And I think it has to be uh, Future Stars or something new. Um, but I don't think that it can be uh, Winter Upgrades because last time and in years past, they haven't run the Winter Ones to Watch and like the Winter Upgrades promo. They haven't done that at this time just because... Um, they don't have all the information in yet, so they can't really run a promo just yet because all the transfers haven't happened. Of course, they have to wait until the deadline of January 31st, the end of the month, when those um, when the window closes, basically. That's where they have to kind of wait for. So I do think it's possible we see future stars uh, coming this week. And with that being said, what happens to the rest of the market? Well, we could think of it in a couple different ways, right? Let's say you want to buy headliners and you want to invest in these headliners, which I kind of understand if you want to do that. These cards took a big hit from yesterday. They're really low. They're only in packs until um, Tuesday. And they're going to go out of packs. And they're really cheap, to be honest. I feel like these are really cheap compared to the first set of cards just because these are like lower level cards, but they're also really cheap. And I feel like that will make people want to try them out and use them. So if you want to buy these cards, we're going to talk about this a little bit. If you want to buy these cards, I think today, like Saturday, mo Saturday night, Sunday morning, as you might be watching this, might be one of your time frames to buy these cards. Supposedly, and this is not a leak, this is a rumor, there is another pretty big time player that's going to be released as an SBC card in the next day or so i would imagine that sbc player would either it has to be either t sunday or monday and honestly the day before a promo ends dropping a big time sbc player i don't see it happening so supposedly there is one more sbc player coming and that would probably be coming today i would think it'd come on sunday because that means they could give two two days for people to complete that sbc basically so i'd expect that sbc today so i'd be kind of careful uh, maybe when you're investing in some of this of course we're always investing and there's always that little bit of chance that, you know, an off chance that maybe EA drops an SBC or drops something. That's why this market is, is, it's not really a free market, right? Because there's always stuff that EA is putting in that's impacting the game that uh, we can never impact, right? We can never really control that. So that's an always, it's always a risk that we have with this game. And especially considering this promo, they've been putting out SBCs really, really consistently and really consistent uh, often. So that is one thing to think about. Just kind of keep that SBC in your mind. But today, Sunday, I'm honestly going to say before the content drop might be the best time to buy these or leading right up into the content drop. If you want to put one of these in your squad or invest for an out of packs investment, I would look to buy these guys um, at the either at the 6, 7 p.m. kind of range on Sunday um, or even before that earlier Sunday morning. If you see some of these cards are low. Um, because after that, there's going to be a lot of people that want to invest in them as we, as we head out of the promo, and they're probably going to continue to rise up. Even James Madison, who is one of my favorite picks out of this promo to rise up, he's already up like 10 to 15K. This guy was 140,000 coins, as you'll see right here on the graph. 142K, he's already up to 157. This is a very popular card because of his upgrade. He got the 90 passing. He looks very usable now. That's why I think he's going to rise out of packs. I think Kappa is a riser out of packs. Sterling, Tagliafico, actually. And then uh, Delaney and Digne kind of interest me as well. Even Thiago Silva, I could see being closer to like 90 or 100K because his inform has been like 50K all year-ish. Um, for the most part, at least it has been. So that's kind of where I would value some of those cards. And if you do want to invest in them, I'm not going to say it's like a super, super green light. Like thumbs up, these are awesome to invest in. There's probably going to be some of them that rise into the next week a little bit. Um, but uh, other than that, I would just say if you want one for your team, that could be a time to buy it. Another thing we need to talk about, and this is something I usually talk about on Wednesdays, right? We usually talk about Thursday flipping on like Tuesdays and Wednesdays just because that's the day we can buy cards and sell them Thursday for profit. But something that a lot of people have been doing recently is buying on Sunday nights or buying on Sundays and uh, selling actually 
on Thursday. So instead of buying their weekend league flips on Wednesday night, like we normally do, they buy them on Sunday because a lot of times we get to Wednesday and the cards are up in price. And we're kind of like, well, shoot, we're buying inflated cards and they, we don't make as much money, right? So there's a little bit of a payoff. It's like a kind of a risk that you have to weigh, right? Again, I mentioned that SBC coming today. I mentioned that SBC that could be coming at least, not, not that it's guaranteed. The SBC that could be coming um, that people say is a pretty big name player and uh, could be a big impact on the game. If that does come today, then we might see some downward trend in the market. But think about what we have the rest of this week, right? Think about what we have coming for us the rest of this week. Tuesday, the promo ends. And if Tuesday, the promo ends, we literally have not much to do. We're in a limbo mode. And when the market goes into limbo mode, people do SBCs uh, and people buy cards to play with them and use them, right? Or people go and grind objectives. Uh, and the icon swaps is ending. We have a few other objectives in here, like the Orsich um, objective and stuff. So this week, you'll probably see the market rise from the end of the promo, even maybe from tomorrow, from the end of the promo into the week, because uh, the promo will be ending. When promo ends, people are like, what do I do? So they buy cards again and do SBCs and stuff like that. So that's why I think if you want to get on some Thursday flipping investments this weekend, Sunday night, I haven't really talked about this before, but that could be a shout for some of the stuff that you want to go out and look at in terms of investing for Thursday flips. What kind of cards would you want to buy uh, for a Thursday flipping investments if you're buying this early in the week? You could look at some really early on team of the week predictions and maybe look at some of the guys that are going to get into team of the week. Possibly you see some uh, link investments to those. Like last week we had the Howland card who is still technically in packs. But this card right here was very, very popular right off the bat. I think it's like 250K-ish, I think. Is that correct? 250, somewhere around 250. He's actually dropping a little bit now out of the weekend league. Um, but this guy, we knew he was getting an inform last week. So all of the Dortmund links you saw skyrocket up because so many people wanted to use this card. And it looks like people are using him and they're having fun. So um, I don't see a ton of people like that this week that are like, he's for sure getting an inform. He's got a lot of hype around him. This is kind of a more rare scenario that we don't see a lot. But um, if you're looking at random stuff, looking through random team of the weeks, this is the stuff that I really like doing at this point of the year. And I mentioned this today when I was on stream, but as we get further and further into the year, we have more promo cards and more special cards to trade with, which you might think, man, that means there's more cards for people to buy on any given week for the weekend league rewards. So that means that cards might rise less because if people split their demand in so many different areas, wouldn't that make it less, right? Well, that's not the case often a lot of times because if you stick to some of these newer team of the weeks uh, and especially just special cards out of packs that are still good meta usable uh, cards, a lot of these still rise a ton because you know there's more cards. They get rarer and rarer as we go throughout the game. And you know people still want to use these team of the group stage cards. People still want to use team of the year nominees. People still use road to the finals. They use team of the group stages. They use cards from team of the week 11. They use cards from team of the week nine. So um, these cards get rarer and rarer as we go on through the year. And that also makes it, you know, better for like flipping throughout the week for just fluctuations and stuff. And then also for Thursday flipping as well, they just get more rare. And that that's good, right? Because more rare means less supply. But there's if there's still demand there, there's definitely a chance to make some coins on them. Screams especially, man. These cards fluctuate a ton. I'm really learning to watch these and to flip them, especially now since I really am motivated to grind these sorts of flips because of my lower coin amount after all the upgrade packs. Like James Rodriguez, 208,000 coins. If this is actually his price, I'm probably going to buy it because he fluctuates up to uh, 220 all the time. 220k he fluctuates to all the time. Look, at he's been sitting there for that amount of time. 220, would I make profit? I'd make a little bit. L let me show you his graph just to make sure, right? 220, there's one at 208. I'm actually going to leave this there because it's been up for eight, almost nine minutes and it hasn't gotten undercut yet. But this is a card that I really like to trade with. Look at his graph, right? He goes up to 225 yesterday or today, technically Saturday. And he also hits a low of 211. So there's not really much profit to be made there, but... 238 on Friday. He was down to like 218 again, 230 again. So you could probably get a sale on this card with a Hunter Chem style, maybe with like 230K. And right now he's 208 and it's being picked up on flipping, which is pretty cheap. But um, 
these cards do get rare and that of course means that there is less supply for them on the market which means they are um it takes less people to want to go and buy them for their card to go up in price so if you're looking for thursday flips this week again this is what i recommend doing going over to the team of the week page on footbin uh, and to, to get that page, you go up here to players, you go to team of the weeks, and it takes you to this page with all team of the weeks, and you can click into the individual ones. And this is what I would do on Sunday today if I were you guys. Think about the cards that people like to use in this game. Maybe think about some of the new headliners um, and who, you know, if they're using a new headliner or a new headliner SBC, which cards like to stay up in price, which ones are popular. If there's any, any panic selling tomorrow because of whatever content comes out, watch those cards. And if there's just stuff that gets sold again tomorrow, right? Today, Saturday is usually most of the weekend league sell-off, but Sundays are still pretty low as well. Uh, you know, you could just stock up on some of the meta informs, but make sure that you see them go down, right? Make sure that you actually see their prices go down. One person that I'm really interested in is this Deli Ali because his SBC goes away on Tuesday. But a lot of times what we've seen in the past is that when an SBC goes away, this guy is a perfect example. Tagliafico's Inform, 84 rated. Obviously, this objective Tagliafico came out earlier in the year. A lot of people did it. What happened? His card tanked, right? His card tanked. But then what happened after that? Right here, he got the objective. Boom, he tanks, he tanks, he tanks. Objective goes away. Bang. Back up to 49,000 coins uh, at the end of December during foot miss. And then he comes back down during team of the year for panic selling. His card's the best one out there now. Tradable on the market. Back up to 70k. And then he goes back down with this objective, right? Or with this new card that's in packs. I'm very interested with like a Deli Ali or even Tagliafico again. There is definitely a chance. Maybe not as much as this Tagliafico, but since Deli Ali is an SBC that will be going away, um, I'm interested in that card rising out of packs, possibly back to somewhere around like 52 to 55K. So if we can see this guy again, like low 40s again, then I would be a huge fan. 41,000 coins, 40K during the day. He probably hits these 40K marks oftentimes. I'm kind of a fan of this card around 40K just because he's English, of course. He spurs. He does have this special card. He's got the 87, but it's 162K. And then this SBC goes away. So I'm kind of interested in this guy out of packs, but that's just kind of a trading method and something you can kind of figure out and, and just take with you. Uh, if that card has other special items when the SBC goes away or when the objective goes away, a lot of times that card that's in packs that is the best version goes up or it's the affordable version like this Deli Alley goes up just because the most affordable that people have on this game to buy. So if you're looking for Thursday flips, definitely take a look uh, around this other team of the week section. I don't like messing with a lot of gold cards nowadays for, for this kind of stuff unless it's an out of packs gold card. Let me check Sterling really fast. Um, Sterling's left wing. This one's really cheap. If, especially right now, this card is more than double this left wing Sterling. So I'm kind of interested in this left wing Sterling. He didn't make me that many coins last week when I invested in him. But I think that was because his price didn't go up, uh, which was related to this headliner coming out. And I think people expected it once they saw the loading screen and people started talking about it. So that maybe hurt his price a little bit um, on that one. But yeah, again, Team of the Year nominees are very rare and they're very good cards to mess around with and to flip as well. It's like use, let's use Sterling as an example. Um, I just like Sterling because there's not a ton of right wings that are English. And you know, Sterling is, this is gonna bring some hype to Sterling's name this week, right? When you have a, a card that, that gets in a promo like this, it's just that card getting a special card brings hype to his name and people will start to think, okay, Sterling, you know, I kind of forgot. Oh, he's got these other cards. What if I don't get this headliner? You know, it just brings some uh, hype to the other special cards. So Sterling might be a decent flip this week, not the gold since it's out of packs and inflated already, but either of these two, the right wing, this one right here, the team of the year nominee, or the left wing, which is a, uh, around 150K, I believe, which is still freaking cheap for this card. When he, this card, this one, the left wing, team of the group stage has been like 180 for the last couple weeks. And now he's down at 150, which is, which is pretty nuts. If I see if I see 140s on this, I'm definitely going to be buying that. Even 150 is pretty low for me. So this is the kind of stuff that I'll be looking at this week. Stuff that's low. Look at graphs and stuff like that. Um, sell time for this stuff is probably going to be Thursday again. I would expect, and we'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow uh, on Monday with the Market Outlook video. The way that they're doing loading screens this year, I would expect to see 
more of the, you know, on Tuesday when the promo ends, I wouldn't be surprised if they would be so ballsy to go out and drop another loading screen for the next promo if it is going to come on Tuesday or like Tuesday night or something. So that's something that I would be not too, we might be finding out about future stars really, really soon um, in the next couple of days, because if that is the next promo that's coming up next, I assume there's going to be something coming. That's just the way that they're rolling on FIFA right now. I assume it, but I obviously don't know if it's absolutely positively going to happen. So of course today, if you do want to do your week in league investing, I'm probably not going to do much because I want to stay liquid throughout the week to be quick flipping and trading and buying panic or hopping in on some, some, a buy, if there is some somewhere for whatever reason, like an upgraded card or something, I want to stay liquid for just quick flip and trading because I want to maximize my profit throughout the weeks, um, rather than just sitting on cards. But if you're somebody who's not going to get on the game from Sunday until week in league rewards, then maybe you buy some cards and you forget about it until Thursday and stock them on your transfer list. If you really want to buy some Thursday flips again, Focus on Prem, focus on popular nations, and then out of packs in forms that are in positions that are still pretty rare, right? Left backs, right backs, they, those move the most every week. And then especially if you have a position inside of a league that's pretty rare, uh, definitely hop on some of those. Uh, and just popular cards, big names, right? Some of the cards that got into this headliner promo as well, you might see their informs do well, like a Royce inform. I bet that's already inflated because of this one's so expensive, the headliner. But Royce's inform right now, 335k which is up a little and then the the team of the year nominee cards 300 so this could be a card that you maybe look for this week you know you have a player of the month Werner that came out a lot of people are doing uh and maybe some french links as well this week because of the ben yetter sbc maybe you have some of the guys um that are french maybe like a scream payette per se but somebody who's doing the ben yetter player of the month isn't going to use payette so maybe like an upper tier griezmann or maybe even Mbappe. I wouldn't expect to see a huge extra rise in those cards since they're so like, since they're pretty high priced already, but maybe you look at some French guys this week. Um, just for some links to that Ben Yedder card, if people need a couple extra, extra links in their squad, you know, something like that. So if you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Happy Sunday. Hopefully we get some nice content today and maybe one last good value, pretty good player SBC. That would be very, very nice. And uh, I will catch you guys in a video very soon. If you enjoyed it, again, smash the thumbs up, comment down below, and uh, hit the sub. Hit that sub button if you're brand new to the channel. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.